Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, I'm your host Matt, and this is your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I wanna to talk to you about translating your WordPress website, at least the content on the front end of your WordPress website. And uh, great for multilingual sites, great for e-commerce stores, especially if you're selling uh, at, in an international marketplace, which uh, possibly a lot of people are. I know I am with WordPress themes and plugins. Um, so it's very important that, uh, at least in my case, it's not just the U.S. English language that's available, but any language um, that is available, or at least I could look at my Google Analytics and see what my top uh, visiting countries are and maybe cater to that audience with a translation button. Uh, the plugin that we're looking at today is Weglot. You can get that at wordpress.org slash plugin slash Weglot. This is a sponsored tutorial, which means that they've paid me to make this tutorial, uh, but I don't take any uh, sponsorship from any plugin. I do some background research first, and I make sure that this is going to be valuable for my audience, and I think it really is. This is probably the fastest way I have ever seen uh, a plugin translate a WordPress website, uh, you know, from my own experience. Uh, there's not a lot of fuss. I literally installed this thing, translated a page in seconds, um, and the whole process was fairly painless. Now, this is a SaaS type of, of uh, a business or a freemium type of plugin where for free, you can translate a small website uh, under 2,000 words with one translation language. So if you do have a prominent secondary language that you know visits your website, uh, you could certainly choose that. And if you do have a very lightweight sort of marketing slash product site, this plugin could do the job for you for free. But if you wanted to upgrade, you can. You can get the pricing information right here on this link. Um, we can just pull that up right now. Uh, one website, 2,000 words for free. One website, 15,000 words, uh, 99 a year. One website, uh, let me actually switch this to monthly. Uh, one website, 500,000 words with unlimited extra language, 20 bucks a month. Now, this is very, uh, that, you know, I would say that if, especially if you are an e-commerce store, uh, you know, this is... Uh, easy money, right? It should be easy money. Like if you are making transactions on the site and it's very important for you to have that information in different languages, um, this is almost becomes a no brainer. But let's take a look at installing this plugin. Um, you will see my API key in this video, but don't worry, it's going to be deleted <laughs> uh, later on uh, after I am done doing this tutorial. All I did to get this bad boy installed was go over to add new, search for we got and uh, just a reminder, I'm not using the video uh, camera today because I am uh, I am sick and I don't feel like having all of the lights on me right now. Uh, and uh, I might cough or sneeze <laughs> as we go through this. So all I do is install it, search for it, hit activate. It brings me to uh, the setup page. And when I go to the setup page, uh, I can sign up and get my API key, which I did. It was a super painless process over at their website. And I just typed in my username and password, got an active, or excuse me, my email uh, address and name. It shot me an activation email. I clicked that and it gave me my API key uh, within two minutes. And all I do is paste this in and I'm ready to go. So once you do that, you paste it in, your API key is valid. You select what your original uh, language is. In my case, it's gonna be English. So I set that to English. And because I am Portuguese, but do not speak a lick of it, um, I said that my free destination language, uh, that is to say the language I would like my website to be translated into, I said it's a Portuguese. And again, you only have one choice on the free plan. And by upgrading, you can get that unlimited um, number of destination languages. And again, to continue down the path of what makes this plugin so painless is it takes a lot of the complicatedness of translating a website, PO files, PT files, um, you know, doing the translations themselves, running them through some kind of other service. Not only is that is that a, a challenge already with, with most plugins, um, you know, assigning a link on your website to press a little button and say, translate my page. Uh, Weglot is actually going to do this on the fly for you if you choose to. So for example, it's gonna show you, here's a preview of the links, English, uh, Portuguese, and you can say drop down uh, with flags, without, what type of flags you want. You can actually customize this stuff uh, if you want. And then you can actually drop it in the menu uh, of, your web, of your WordPress website, which makes it so, it's like so simple uh, to not even have to think about it. 
I'm laughing because uh, it's such a great lesson for me as a product owner to understand how important it is to make things so uh, straightforward and so easy. So I check this off and I say, yes, I, I want this to be in the, uh, the navigation menu of my website. And I go ahead and I hit save changes and I can do the other CSS stuff uh, if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to in this case. Let's look at the home page. And this is on a, on a test site that I have. So it's not perfect. Um, it sort of puts it up uh, right next to each other. I could probably add some padding to that if I wanted to, but for the most part, there was no thinking. I didn't need to think about, about any of this stuff. It just works. Let's take a look at my example one page. Now I've already translated this page. And what this page is, is just a collection of blog posts. It's the, the most recent 10 posts on this site uh, with the uh, WordPress excerpt, right? So it's just continue reading. But if I translate this, so I'm gonna hit Portuguese, click that, it refreshes. Boom, it's in Portuguese. You can see the uh, slug of the website changes. So it puts that little slash PT. Uh, in there, and then you know, as a designation for for Portuguese. But you can see everything is port uh, everything is Portuguese now. Continue reading links. Um, you know the the headline that I had written out here, and this is these are two widgets, in fact. So this isn't just content on a page. I didn't actually think this was going to work when I first ran it. I was like, oh, this is probably going to be a good test because this is my note widget and my conductor widget. Let's see if it actually works, and it does. And it grabs all the tags, uh, the post name, and all that fun stuff. Now. Uh, what, what if the what if the uh, the translation here was wrong, right? Let's say you see something, you're like, oh, that's not right. Uh, maybe there is something in here that that isn't right, and you wanted to go in and change that. You know, where do you do that? Well, you don't do it through your uh, WordPress website. You go to your WeGlot dashboard, and everything in here. I'm just going to hit reload just for the uh, the sake of it. You come in here, and you can see all of the uh, the text that was translated. So, uh, you know, your, here's my continue reading link, for example. If I didn't want that to, uh, if I didn't think that that was translated correctly, I could actually overwrite this and save it, and that will transfer to uh, the active website. You can see here that it's machine translated. I'm assuming there might be another um, tag that pops up if it were uh, human translated, that kind of thing, or manually input. But all of these, these are, this is all the text. Uh, that was sort of translated throughout uh, my WordPress website. And then it's in columns that are identified by these different languages. And then this is uh, a per page uh, listing of, uh, of, the, of the pages that were translated in WordPress. So let's take a look at that in, in real live action here. I'm going to go to the example three page. Uh, actually, that's a bad example because that's lorem ipsum. Let's go to example two. Uh, all right, so this is just the word content, a uh, bunch of stuff just thrown in there. Example two, but this will be, uh, again, just a quick example. I'm going to hit Portuguese. That's going to go ahead and tra uh, translate. You can see example changed. Uh, the, the titles in, in these pieces changed, and then the word content changed over here. If I go back to my Weeglot dashboard, reload that, boom, there's that example two page. We click on this, and this is all of the... Uh, the text that was translated here, all the blocks of text. So if I wanted to ch change any of this stuff, I can, and you could see how fast that was. I mean, it was, <laughs> I'm still just mind boggled a little bit. Uh, maybe to some people, this isn't uh, too much of a big deal. It is to me because I've, I've never seen something happen uh, so quickly and so efficiently before. So really, really sharp, really good stuff there. Um, one other thing you can do, like if you didn't want that, uh, if you didn't want the flags up in the, Navigation, let's get rid of that. Let's go back over to Weeglot. Let us disable that. And I'm gonna save changes. Heading over to the widget section, appearance widgets, uh, primary sidebar, I'm gonna open that up. And the Weeglot translate widget, I'm gonna go ahead and put that up in this primary sidebar. Uh, I'll title it translate. For those of you that don't want it in the in the men, uh, primary menu or whatever, uh, that's not a problem. Drop that in there. Visit the site. Uh, let's go to a page that actually has the sidebar. Boom. There is our widget. There there are our flags and our links to change the um, to change the language. And I will go back into the dashboard. Sorry, I thought I had that open. And I can change the styling uh, if I want. Let's see. Let's just see what circles look like. Uh, boom. That changes it to circles. Save it. Again, it's really going to be 
there it is. There's the circles there. So, I mean, pretty simple stuff. I'm going to hit tra uh, the Portuguese translation here. Boom. Uh, it translates that uh, that page right there. So again, this is this is pretty darn good for. I mean, I'd say anybody who who definitely requires a translation to be on site, especially you know the first sort of examples that come to mind for me is e-commerce uh, membership sites, anything with the transaction where it's important that you can sell to an open audience, uh, an open world audience. Then this is something that I would definitely recommend checking out. Um, I think it's going to be of great value to that type of audience. Everything loads right in this dashboard. Again, free for really small sites, up to two languages, um, anything under 2,000 words. Uh, and again, if you're you're an artist, a photographer, and you want to be found and read across the world, I think it's a super, super uh, useful tool. And if you are doing e-commerce, it's very inexpensive to upgrade and to get active and not a lot of setup. Uh, and that's the key thing here. Uh, I think there might be maybe more intricate solutions out there, and, and I even I dare I even say that, but maybe there are other solutions out there that are free, but they're certainly going to be much more complex if you want something much more straight to the point, uh, and it gets the job done super fast. This is an amazing tool. Under their dashboard, they got a bunch of um, documentation. You can do WordPress or Shopify, which is great, uh, and you can see the available languages, so check out that. Uh, on their site to make sure that your language is uh, available that you want to translate to. Um, I'm assuming that most uh, of the top languages are here. Um, if, they're, if they're not, go ahead and reach out to them. They have a, a very active support channel. Go ahead and reach them at weglot.com. If you like videos like this, it's plugintut.com. Thumbs up if you like the video. Um, again, if you're looking to translate a website, this looks like a, a very fairly painless, fast, efficient way to do it. Weglot.com. Thanks, everybody.